In 2003, Greater Tari City Council, in collaboration with the Manning Wetlands Steering Committee, acquired the 500 hectare Katai wetlands and successfully restored it to what nature intended it to be, an essential natural wetland. This first stage of the Katai Wetlands project shows the success we can expect to see as the project continues. The Katai Wetlands project is located three and a half hours north of Sydney on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. In the early years of European farming around much of Australian coastline, the practice was to drain low-lying coastal land for agricultural purposes. These areas once contained valuable wetlands which were integral for maintaining water quality and were home to numerous threatened and unique flora and fauna. Over the past 100 years, intensive drainage of the Katai wetlands area has lowered the water table and exposed acid sulphate soils to oxygen. This process has generated toxic products that are now leaking into the estuary, degrading water quality and impacting on the ecological integrity of the estuary. The Katai Wetlands Project is of national significance as it is recognised as one of the worst acid sulphate soil hotspots in Australia. In order to guide the required on-ground works within the Katai Wetlands Project, the Water Research Laboratory University of New South Wales was engaged by Greater Tari City Council in 2013 to prepare a hydrological study for the site. The study used state-of-the-art scientific methods to determine the most effective ways to remediate acid sulphate soils with the Katai Wetlands Project and to find ways to minimise the discharge of toxic acid materials into the Lower Manning Estuary. Currently, the Katai Wetlands Project is one of the single greatest contributors to poor water quality in the Manning Valley. By extending the Katai Wetlands Project area and restoring it to a fully functional wetland, we will improve the water quality of the Manning River by reducing destructive acid discharges, resulting in enhanced and in some areas restored oyster production, one of the key industries of the Manning River. improve recreational and commercial fishing, increase opportunities for use of the Manning River and its tributaries for tourism, add to a protected wetland located near the Pacific Highway for the public to explore and enjoy. Restore a vital natural vegetation link for wildlife between the escarpment and the coast. Create flood storage for the Manning River, decreasing the risk of property damage. 
support habitat for endangered species such as the brolga, once a regular visitor to the area. The goal of the Katai Wetlands Project is to add and restore an additional 2,000 hectares of coastal wetlands to the already hugely successful 500 hectare Katai Wetlands, further improving the water quality of the Manning River and the conservation of coastal wetlands. This will be no small undertaking and will require considerable investment. The Katai Wetlands is an iconic ecological attraction for visitors and the local community. Along with the obvious environmental benefits, the project will also benefit for the region by providing opportunities for learning, tourism, art and culture. The extension of the Katai Wetlands Project has been made possible with funding provided by the Australian Government through the Caring for Our Country initiative.